And all we gotta do is know up every single one of them, but I'll show you when we have to write that function. And the last one is automatic. And what it's saying here is just saying we want our pistol. So um just do that there. So I'm gonna do this. Um we'll do this in a second if we're gonna need to. So what we're saying here is we're saying we want our pistol to shoot uh like an assault rifle pretty much. So what it says here it says jump if not zero. So I'm guessing somewhere in the program there's something stored saying is this weapon automatic? And we're saying if the weapon if it's not equal to zero it means that weapon is not automatic. Um which means um let me think. So if it's not zero, then make the player press every time they need to um, shoot. If it's automatic, then we just hold mouse and just keep shooting. So what we're going to store first thing is is a um, this address. So four five five B. Four, four, and once again, I found these out through trial and error. I just went through every address and I I realized that these things happen as I did them. So it's all about just testing. Four five B um, five B six double B. All right, four five B six double B. That seems fair to me. And then um, our default opcode def equals seventy five zero nine. That's the default one. Once we want to turn it off, we'll put that and we'll so seventy five zero nine. And the opcode we want to use, right? We can't know of this one, or we're asking for a crash. What we've got to do is instead of jump if um, jump if it's not equal to zero, we put jump whether it's well, jump is just jump. Don't question anything. Just jump, which renders this compare here useless. So we use jump, and then we got get our new opcode, which is EB09, uh, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to say jump whether this happens or not. As you as you can see, you see we mixed up um, our rapid fire, so no time between shots with uh, every weapon automatic, and this is what happens. You can see, and if you don't have recoil on, this is insane. So we need to kill Rico. So I'll show you Rico killed here. So uh, <laughs> so Rico function start, Rico function end. So we're just gonna fill this with no ups. There you go. So hopefully we don't have Rico now. So as you can see that, look. So look at the amount of shots we're taking at, at a time. So we can do that. Do, 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 do. And then we put this. F for fleep. How sexy is that, huh? And that, yeah, anyways, messing around. Over. So, um, these are all the values we need to write our code. So, all we need to do now is start writing our code. Um, and I believe those are alright. If any of them are wrong in the slightest bit, I'll let you know uh, later because I've got my notes on the side and they should keep me on track, hopefully. Um, even if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys are doing it right. So, <coughs> that should be good. So, what we're going to do is going to start a project now, our DLL. So this is the slightly hardest thing on the program, just because it's got a little bit more code than everything else. But that's about it. Um, so let's just close this. Just close Ollie, and that should close the game as well. So um, we go our injector. We'll leave that up. So we're going to start an application. I'm leaving my IC. We mixed up um, our rapid fire, so no time between shots with uh, every weapon automatic. And this is what happens. You can see. And if you don't have recoil on, this is insane. So we need to kill Rico. So I'll show you Rico killed here. So uh, <laughs> so Rico function start, Rico function end. So we're just gonna fill this with no ups. There you go. So hopefully we don't have Rico now. So as you can see that, look. So look at the amount of shots we're taking at, at a time. So we can do that. And then we put this. F for fleep. How sexy is that, huh? And that, yeah, anyways, messing around. Over. So, um, these are all the values we need to write our code. So, all we need to do now is start writing our code. Um, and I believe those are alright. If any of them are wrong in the slightest bit, I'll let you know uh, later because I've got my notes on the side and they should keep me on track, hopefully. Um, even if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys are doing it right. So, <coughs> that should be good. So, what we're going to do is going to start a project now, our DLL. So this is the slightly hardest thing on the program, just because it's got a little bit more code than everything else. But that's about it. Um, so let's just close this. Just close Ollie, and that should close the game as well. So um, we got our injector. We'll leave that up. So we're going to start an application. I'm leaving my solutions up in case I struggle. That way I can check out uh, what's going on.
Okay, just done a little quick FRAP test to make sure it's good and everything looks good. So, <clears throat> what we're going to start off by doing is going to go new project. Um, okay, so make sure it is a Win32 project, right? Uh, that won't matter too much because later on um, we got to do something anyway. But just go for Win32 project, and I'm going to call mine um, Assault. So I'm going to put YouTube first because I've got a number of things already. So Assault. So just remember this name because that's what we're going to need to call later on in our injector. Assault Cube. Uh, just going to do DLL like that. All right. You can just go with this name, guys. That would be great. I think that I think that'll work out for you. So Assault Cube DLL. Just put YouTube. I'm just going to put like that first by itself. Don't matter. So just okay that. All right. Click next. Do not click finish. And make sure you write tick the DLL box and tick empty project as well. All right. Because we want to make this by ourselves from scratch. We don't have take um, we'll have to, to store more stuff on the hard drive or make our DLL any bigger than it has to be basically so then go view solution explorer take this as usual and right click here add this is our main pretty much alright <clears throat> so we're gonna create our main so select C++ and just select and just write main alright and check my notes make sure everything's okay so um, so this is our first our main <clears throat> Um, so first thing we've got to do, like we did earlier, we go include, uh, and we say Windows dot h because we want to include handles and all that good stuff. And then we're going to say extern int u i main. Now the reason for this is because we we've got we want to look outside this main for a function called u i main, which we're going to create in a second. Not yet though. Because that is our UI stands for user interface, as you probably know. So then we say D word. Actually, we want to create our API entry first. So bool API entry, and that this is the first thing that happens once you inject the DLL. All right. So D L L L main. We want to send a couple of things in there. So H module. H module. And then, and this is pretty much standard for any DLL. You always have to do this. Once it's injected, then you do things. D word um, reason because we wanna. Well, what is the reason? Um, so um, if if it attaches, then we're gonna do something. I'll show you in a second what that does. LP void um, LP reserved. Now these are just default things, which are, you don't have to worry about. These I don't. Um, and yeah, that's it. So it receives those parameters, and then we're saying if reason equals equals DLL process process attach. So if DLL is successfully attached to the to the uh, application, the process obviously, then we do something. If it doesn't attach successfully, we don't care. We we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything. So then we say create create thread. Zero, zero times one thousand. I have no clue what this does, but I've been using it for ages, and I've seen it on every DLL, pretty much. But just go with it. Main thread, um, and then we're going to say zero, zero, and then null. All right. Uh, and now it won't recognize main thread because we haven't created that yet. And now we're going to do that. So D word, oops, capitals. D word, win. API M main thread. That's our main thread right there. And what we're receiving, we're receiving an LP void LP parameter. Alright. And hopefully this yeah, there's our error gone. That's brilliant. Um, and all we gotta do here is basically just say, you know, UI main Return. Um, you can just go return. Um, we're going to go for S OK. So we're saying it succeeded. So S OK. What is it? Uh, because it should be all in capitals. Sorry about that. And UI main is not recognized because we need to include a header file for it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our header file. Um, I'm not sure if we should maybe create our interface first. I'm just considering that right now. Um, 
So I'm going to check on my example here, on my uh, the one I've got here. Uh, basically, that's it. We've got our user interface and stuff. That seems good to me. Um, yeah, let's um, let's create our user interface, right, and uh, make it look good. So, um, what we want to right-click on header files, add new item, all right, and we want to select Windows form, okay. So we're gonna just call mine um, interf um, interface. Interface is good. So no, just go for DLL interface. That doesn't matter. Interface add. Yes, it just say. Um, and just to let you know, guys, the um, CLI interface uh, for uh, C++ is a big bag of crap in uh, Visual Studio 2010. I don't know why I made that that big, but it's a real big bag of crap because, um, well, uh, it doesn't have IntelliSense, so if you don't know what that is, that's the thing that auto-completes things when you need them. Um, the autocorrect is a bag of crap as well. It doesn't work properly, so a lot of the times it'll tell us that we have errors when we don't. So if you're using two th Visual Studio 2008, then good for you because um, that does help you out a fair bit more. Hopefully, um, so we won't be paying too much attention to the errors we get uh, until the compilation is done. So. Um, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to go for DL interface here. Uh, let me just open it up. So yeah, so yeah on our um, DLL uh, user interface dot, um, we it should have this by default, of course. And then first thing we're going to say is going to say using namespace, um, and the namespace should be the same. So that's C++. So go here. That's our design. Double click that, and it should have a namespace. So we're going to use the same namespace this uses. So that's what mine's called. That copy that one, whatever yours has got. So using namespace that, and then say int u uh, i main. That's what we just called there, and that's what we're going to run. So we called it externally, and we need to do this if we want to use an actual user interface on ours, not just a console application. Uh, and now what we're going to do here is we're going to initiate our form pretty much. So we're going to say application enable. See, as you see, I did that. And sometimes there's autocomplete, not in this case. Name of visual styles application. So if I knew this this was going to be like this, I would have done a console application. But now I've done this, so we might as well go with it. Compatible. Set compatible render uh, text rendering default false. So I hate the fact you get absolutely no feedback from Windows though, but I guess that's just how it is. So user interface uh, big I interface and do a little thing here. If you see that, there should be uh, shift and six. It is on mine. Um, so what we're creating here is a new user interface object, new UI equals uh, GC new um, user interface. Oops, interface. Okay, and that should be good. So, and then finally we do application run, and then we select our new user interface, new user interface. And that's it, so we're saying run, so don't forget that line. And then just simply return 1, or you can do return true, it doesn't really matter. So all this does is start our, our interface. And now, um, our main code, let me just check this is alright. So application not enable visual styles. So let's just press an F6 on this, make sure it's okay. Yep, problem. Um, new. Oh, I see. I think it should have been uh, instead of user interface, DLL interface. Sorry, I was following my example. Not great. Uh, UI main identifier not found. What are you talking about? It's been found. Full. UI big M A I. What's wrong with that? Oh, <clears throat> I believe it's because I didn't include this. Just gonna check that. No, I don't think so. We'll just keep going and then uh, things will just complete themselves as we do it. Um, did I declare this as UI main? Externant UI main. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. There should have been a capital M there to let him know it's external. And then F6, beautiful. It works just fine. 
build succeeded as you can see so that's fine so we've included that and now we're going to start working our interface so we're going